Hello Drowned in Sound. It's a great privilege to take part in this tea-based challenge. I for one think it's a terrible idea to drink caffeinated drinks at 9pm, uh, but in the spirit of Australian and British diplomatic bounds, it's probably not the best way. Despite the fact that it is 9pm here, which is a terrible time to be drinking caffeinated drinks. Okay, I'm going to be doing this one-handed since I have the camera in my other hand. And by camera, of course, I mean mobile phone. For many devices over the years have been combined within the technology of the smartphone. Amazing things there. Now, as you see, this is a red kettle of the brand DeLonghi. And uh, by pressing this button... I literally don't have to do anything else to allow the water to boil. As far as tea goes, we've got Fringeville Grey there. That one looks a bit like Twigs. Brisbane breakfast, who even knew? Um, really Grey, Fringeville Grey again, for a different kind, a better kind. This one's a little bit like the stuff they put underneath swings, so you don't hurt yourself. That's like a fruity one, like literally fruit. Not seeds, I think, but I guess tea. And again, nuts, not tea. However, I shall be going for the traditional um, Twinings. English breakfast, extra strong, because I'm impatient and don't like waiting for things to get to my desired strength. Okay. Uh, Twinings, not my favourite brand, but we are in Australia, so you have to make do with what you can get. I won't carry on filming while the kettle's boiling, so I have a feeling that you know how that works. Okay, and that's the kettle boiled, which is great. And as we all know, with an English breakfast tea, we want to put that boiling water straight there on the bag. There you go. Now, being an extra strong bag means they've crammed it full of fucking tea, rather than leaving just a little bit to brew slowly. This should only be left for three minutes, um, but I usually leave it until uh, I can remember that I've made one, which depends on the next time I usually go back into the kitchen after leaving the kitchen. So, uh, again, in interests of uh, not being completely boring, I'm going to stop it there and uh, I'll rejoin you in approximately two and a half minutes. Right, that's done now, so I'm going to take this over here towards the bin and... Uh, do this one-handed, probably get some tea on the floor, this doesn't really lend itself to one hand. Come on. Shake the bag, try and get as much of the drips off there while I can, and over to the bin it goes. And that's it. Okay, see so just a little bit on the floor there, that's a bit annoying. Uh, and now, um, over to the fridge, that's it, yes, the fridge. Yes, uh, what have we got here? Let's get some of this and um, get some of this, which is milk, uh, and put it in the cup. Just a little splash, just to take that bitter edge off the tea. <laughs> okay, so now the tea is ready, uh, and so now is the point at which we see if it's drinkable. So at this stage, I know it's not drinkable, really. Um, not, it's just literally just boiled and um, brewed slightly. So, but um, in the interest of science, I'm just going to try and take a sip to see how much, how big a sip I can take to uh, before my mouth burns. So that wasn't actually that small a sip. That was kind of uh, I'd say about a half a teaspoon. Um, but the point being that I didn't really taste anything. I mean, I got maybe a little bit of hint of the milk, but the tea itself was just superfluous. And at this point, really, it's not for pleasure. It's just for uh, for bravado that you'd be drinking this tea. Okay, it's been another uh, 30 seconds. And uh, whilst I still think that the tea itself is probably uh, not at a drinkable temperature, I realise that in the spirit of competition that uh, this isn't about flavour. This isn't really the time to be deciding whether or not this is the best cup of tea. In fact, I imagine for the next two to three days, should I drink this at this very point, that uh, I won't really be able to taste any food or drink that I consume. Um, my taste buds, my tongue will be burnt, taste buds will be ruined, 
will need to uh, repair. I'm not actually sure the exact biological details, but I do know that it will uh, impact all food and drink. But um, as we said, in the spirit of competition, small steps, small steps you can do. But you do tend to get like a bit of a, you have to sort of slurp it, which is, uh, as we know, rude as fuck. So, as you can see, they're taking a little bit of the tea away there. Tea has started to go down, but it's taking some time. So I'm starting to really feel that pain in my tongue now. Just in the center of it there, like, uh, And the back seems to be okay. The back seems to be more tolerant, actually, of the temperature, or maybe it just cools down by the time it gets there, but, you know. On the whole, not a uh, unenjoyable experience so far. I mean, um... <clears throat> So, if you're interested, I mean, it's hard to see from this angle, its dimensions and everything, but I would say that that is about a quarter of the tea that has been drunk now, which, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pleased with. I think that's a pretty good performance so far. I mean, this is nearly boiling water, probably now has had five minutes since actually being at 100 degrees, according to my kettle. So that was a bigger sip that time. I'm feeling a little bit bolder because my mouth is starting to go numb from the um, the burny sensation of the previous sips. So we'll see if I can make the most of that. Mm. Mm, that was a bit harder. Um, but also the uh, the whole kind of talking like this as well is really useful because it kind of brings the airflow uh, from within, um, which gives a cooling effect on my tongue, uh, which is quite handy considering it's probably about 28 degrees Celsius right now indoors here um, this time of year anyway. Which as you can imagine is not really a great tea drinking temperature uh, and I haven't got the air conditioning or fan on, which felt like a fine thing earlier. Uh, I was at a you know pretty good temperature, but now I've started drinking this tea of which I would say I'm probably approaching halfway through um, it's uh, starting to feel like a terrible idea, um, and you may get some bonus sweat um, as this progresses. That was, a, that was probably the biggest gulp yet. Ooh. So that one, uh, a little bit of a burn there on the old throat. Okay, that's done. It's gone down. But uh, again, not particularly pleasant, I wouldn't say. The smaller one there, just... Um, that last one just had a little bit of a recoil on it. Didn't like the uh, body kind of just reflex. Just didn't want to do that again. Wanted a little bit of break. Okay, I'm going to say I'm approximately halfway through. Maybe even over halfway through. Again, hard to see from this angle, but nonetheless, that's um, that's been pretty good progress. Oh fuck. Um. Okay. So this is actually four minutes of the tea drinking. Pretty happy with this so far. That's not a big gulp. Oh, that's too much. Too much. <sighs> okay, so that's when you learn that the uh, the gaps do make a difference. Um, Slow and steady wins the race, I think is the is the phrase. Um, but yeah, those two back to back did actually feel pretty rough. So just have to have a little bit of a pause now. You know, it's got kind of got like that sort of acid indigestion feel, but you know it's just actually boiling liquid, which is probably worse. You know, because it's not really meant to be there at all. Pardon me. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, that sip. That was the first sip where I could see the bottom of the cup. Uh, I saw the bottom of the cup there. And the uh, sip. Mm. 
I'm going to say there's a quarter left. It's going pretty well. Quite happy with this. Um, so since actually drinking the tea, it's been 5.42. I think that I should be comfortably done within six minutes. Uh, six minutes 30 maybe, because I underestimated how hot that remaining bit is. I think the, uh, the burn in the old throat there is making it a bit harder than it needs to be at this stage. I think I could have actually done it faster. I think I've learned a lesson on how to drink tea quickly, uh, and this isn't um, a good way. You've got to really take your time. But I've actually got so little left that the temperature has just dropped the liquid altogether, which is a really good sign. And I think that we're almost there. And that is the uh, the cup drunk. <sighs> that's good. That's done. Um, and that's uh, that was six minutes forty, I reckon. Done. So it's uh, pretty pretty impressive. Um, if I say so myself, that cup is approximately uh, two thirds of a pint. It's pretty big. It's my head. The scale. I got a big head, so yeah, it's not a good scale. Uh, I'm going to hands for anything like banana. So we'll leave it there. Um, I hope that I win. If I don't, then, uh, you know, fuck you.